going on YouTube? Pratt Snipe. Um, quick video just to get one out there. Uh, some thinking that I've been doing over the past couple of days is how to equip the modern day Miniman, right? So I believe in three things you need in order to become a modern day Miniman. Don't listen to those guys that have like $200 plate carriers or 12 war belts for 12 different situations that are unlikely to happen, right? So, rifle, rake, ruck. Three things. Simple as that, right? First, have a rifle. Second, have a rake. Sec uh, third, have a ruck. Showing you three examples. Well, three examples of each category, right? This is what I carry. This is my go-to setup, right? I broke out the Minuteman box. I pulled out some stuff. Here, take a look. All right there, bunch of stuff. All right, let's get to it. Uh, first things first, right? Rifle. This is Jessie. This is my rifle. Um, she is sub 10 pounds. EOTech. Uh, holographic weapon sight, right? Rifle. Optic. Light. Sling. Simple. Easy. Hey, guess what? We take this off, right? Toss that over there. Boom. Hey, look at that. Optic. Light. Sling. Cool? Cool. This is a $600 AR. I got Daniel Defense front and rear sights and a uh, Vickers, Vickers Sling, I think it is, from uh, Blue Force Gear? I don't know. I don't remember. I don't care. But she is a pretty rifle. Very pretty. Very accurate. Um, she sighted in for about 36 yards, I believe. Which I believe um, Mike Glover, I think it was Mike Glover, did a video on the effectiveness of a 36 yard zero all the way out to 400 yards, I believe. I don't know. I could be wrong. Look it up. It's one of uh, Mike Lover's videos. I liked it because then at that point, you know, I could still at least engage close in and still engage further out. Cool. So that covers rifle, optic, light, sling, right? $600 AR. Bought this back in 2016. It's the only AR that I own. It works. You don't need to do something too fucking fancy about it. Second thing, rig. This is my rig. It is a Onward Research Recce rig, right? Because I believe speed and mobility is security in of itself. If you can move, you won't get hit. Fix my collar. There we go. All right. Simple, easy, you know, nothing too crazy. Got a little dangler down here for some odds and ends. All right, quickly getting into it. Two mags over here. Two mags over here. Two mags over here. Medical insert. This is by uh, TST. No, Sarma. Sarma, it is a Finnish company. This is my... Uh, Blow kit, right? Shove that back in there. It fits. So the company advertised it as fitting inside a double AK mag pouch, but I can fit in a uh, double AR mag pouch. Now two mags right over here. Radio, comms, PTT, clicky clicky, Garmin GPS, right? Antenna, rod it up. Let me see if you can show that. Yep, there's my antenna. Runs around the back, over my right, um, over my left shoulder, across my back, and down to my right shoulder. This is the end of the antenna right there. Ha ha, yeah. Dangler, little odds and ends. Let's see what I got in here. Some little things like MS2000 strobe, headlamp, spoon, map markers, calories. There's a first strike ration. This is the Cran raspberry flavor. Also got a signal mirror. 
And hmm. weird. I thought I had a compass in here. Oh well, screw it. I'll find the compass later and probably throw it in here. It's probably somewhere. It's probably in my smock. Alright. Small little odds and ends. This is a it's a spirit of system uh, dangler. Uh, it's their regular size one. Anything in the front pocket? Nope. Nope. Alright, cool. So that's the rig. Fairly simple, fairly lightweight. Remember, speed and mobility is security in of itself. That is what I believe, because I believe in the light foot. Fix that. All right, uh, Ruck. Ruck is fairly simple. Hundreds of options out there, right? Uh, I got three options here, kind of like the low, mid, and the high tier stuff. I got, I'm got. i running with the mid right now, so uh, yeah, let's look at it. So if you're low tier, obviously, Alice Pack. There's thousands of videos on YouTube probably. This one's in um, M81 uh, camo with the uh, tactical tailor, shoulder straps, and a padded Molly waist belt. Right, I made myself my own little carry handle right here. I have some uh, gutted paracord, cobra weave. Oh, look at that! Yeah. All right. Anyways, Alice pack, low tier, cost you maybe 80, 90, 100 bucks, perhaps, just to get a basic one minus the upgraded shoulder straps and the upgraded waist belt. Whatever. Uh, high tier would be something like this. This is an Everly Stock Jackhammer that I spray painted. Um, I think, did I just smack that? I'll find that later. Uh, this is a great pack. I freaking love it for like, you know, multi-day things because it's got like two hydration pockets on one side. Well, one hydration pocket on both sides of the pack, right? It's got a molly belt. The lid has molly on top for the LD1 pouch that could be turned into a waist pack which could actually be a, a, a small day pack it's got waist belt stupid padding i mean look at that shit look at that that's some good padding right there throw it down there that's the high tier i paid about four ish hundred dollars for it i think i don't know uh mid-tier as of what I am running right now, everything in this pack that I'm about to show is everything that I carried in that Alice pack with some slight USGI pouches. And yeah, this here is the uh, Savota Yakiri Medium pack. Got a sleeper pad, rope, two USGI M81. Uh, sustainment pouches strapped to both sides, carrying additional equipment, and everything inside of it is what I carried in my Alice pack. Although, if I weighed it correctly, the Alice pack by itself, nothing in it, weighs roughly nine pounds. The Savota uh, medium, uh, Yakiri medium, weighs roughly a couple of ounces with the aluminum frame upgrade, which I have inside here. Uh, choice is yours. Uh, Alice pack, I love it, but this uh, Savota pack, so much more comfortable. Here, let me throw it on for you. You can throw it on the same way as an Alice pack. Have the pack facing towards you. Grab it by the internal frame, throw it over your head, drop it down onto your shoulders. Tighten down the shoulder straps, uh, same way as we do with an SCBA in the Navy. Uh, tighten down shoulder straps. Your uh, freaking um, your uh, waist belt carries the weight. Loosen up on the shoulder straps. What I like to do is I like to make sure I have at least enough room to at least get one hand through it. But yeah, it is stupid comfortable. More comfortable than the Alice Pack, if you ask me. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll call it. 
sternum strap. Ta-da! Yeah, look at that. It's beautiful. A little 360. The M81. Um, USGI pouches do, do not extend past my arms. Actually, they don't even extend past my torso. That's actually cool. All right, anyways. Yeah, uh, three things that every modern day Minuteman should achieve to acquire before they start going into war belts or plate carriers, ballistic helmets, nods, right? Uh, don't run yourselves into debt. Stop listening to the rich gun tubers that could actually afford that shit and say, oh, if you don't have this, then you ain't shit. If you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, strive to acquire those, but first take care of the best basics. Rifle, rig, rock. Then worry about the 12,000 other different things. You're going to be much more effective with just a rifle, a rig, and a ruck, right? So when I went out for that uh, Operation Beer Run with the Modern Day Minuteman and the Modern Minuteman and uh, Cheddar Actual, um, I had a rifle, I had a rig, I had a ruck, and the only thing I needed to decide was clothing, and that was an easy pick, and I succeeded and was still what's the right word useful. Anyways, this is Prepared Snipe. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment. Um, I'm approaching 1,000 subscribers right now, so please share this video with your friends. They might like it. And once I hit 1K subscribers, I'm going to have a uh, video contest that I'm going to be hosting uh, with a couple of judges from the uh, Modern Minuteman group chat. Right? So we're gonna be picking um, some lucky winners and they are going to get something that I have shown in this video. I'm not gonna say what exactly. And uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to announce it once I hit like 950 subscribers for someone to win a pretty sweet rig with some upgrades and modifications done by me. Anyways, this has been Prepared Snipe and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Deuces.